Although yoga encourages overall health and wellness, and the techniques demonstrated within this program are designed for people of all skill levels, consult your physician before beginning any new exercise program. Hi, welcome to Mind Body. I'm Susan Foxley, a certified life coach and a registered yoga instructor. I help people live healthier, happier lives, and here's the key. Fitness is not just physical. It's emotional, mental, even spiritual for some people. It's about happiness and health, mind and body. Now let's get started. Today, it's back to basics. We're gonna go right to the foundation of yoga, which is basically standing poses. Back to basics, and today we have Al and Julia with us today. I'm so excited. They are also uh, yoga teachers, so I'm very thrilled. We're gonna start with our big toes touching. If you have a hard time with balance, feel free. Some of my clients are in their, a little older, so I have them bring their feet hip distance. So honor yourself. If big toes touching creates a little bit of wobbliness, Please feel free to separate your feet. Go ahead and just close your eyes. And just go ahead and ground the root of the big toe, please. The root of the little toe, the inner heel and the outer heel. As if each foot has four wheels. Ground those four wheels evenly. Find balance between the right leg and the left leg. Find balance between the heel and the toes. And just stay right in the center. Ground your feet, please. Spread your toes. Go ahead and lift your kneecaps, please. Lift the quadriceps, please. Zip the pubic bone towards the belly button, the belly button in towards the spine. Lift the heart. Lift the crown of the head. Really nice. And as the front of the body lifts, as the toes lift, the kneecaps lift, the belly lifts, the heart lifts, the crown lifts, the back of the body drops, the shoulders descend, the tailbone moves in and down to protect your lower back. Beautiful. Then from here, go ahead and open up your eyes, please. And let's go ahead and interlace the fingertips and bring the fingertip, the wrists forward. Keep the elbows nice and straight and then retract the arm bones back slightly so that the Shoulders are right sh right into the shoulder girdle, shoulder blades down, and reach your arms up, please. Your arms go right above your ears. Spread your toes, lift your kneecaps, belly button in. Floating ribs moving down towards your pelvis. Lift your heart. Really nice. Arms right behind your ears. And stretch those wrists up to the heavens. This is also, the, the stretch in the wrist is very good if you use a lot of computers. Ground your feet and reach your palms up to the heavens even more. Again, this time lift the ribs away from the pelvis. Long inhalations, please. And long exhalations. Take a big inhale through the nose. Hold and exhale through the mouth. Another inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale through the mouth. One more inhale. And exhale. Release your arms by your sides, please. And then we're going to go ahead and interlace the fingertips again. But with your fingertips, do what naturally comes to you is interlacing your fingertips and then switch the pinkies and the opposite fingers please and then go ahead and stretch the wrists elbows nice and straight retract the arms back into the shoulder girdle and go up please reach up grounding your feet spreading your toes really pay attention to your feet on the earth please pay attention stay there long inhalations and long exhalations Really nice, lengthening the side body. Beautiful, Al. Gorgeous. 
very nice, Julia. Really lengthening and get really tall, beautiful. And then go ahead and release your hands in prayer right by your heart, please. One more inhale. And exhale through your mouth. And let's go right into opening up to triangle. The right foot goes forward and you can line up the right heel, please, with the back arch or heel to heel. And open up your arms and some people will have their their ankles a little narrower than the wrists and other people will have it a little wider. So go ahead and ground the root of the right big toe, please, and the outer edge of your back foot, please, and lengthen through your right hand. Lengthen, 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 and come down to triangle, please. And go ahead and look up. Stay there and breathe really nice. And some, some of you at home, if you need a block, you can also use a block for your hand if it's hard for you to grab your ankle. Beautiful, Julia. And the Dristi, the gaze is right at your left thumb. Every pose has a gaze. And the gaze here, really nice. And see how Julia's spine is really nice and long? Gorgeous spine. Very nice, Al. Beautiful distance between the legs and a beautiful long spine. Really nice. And then slowly and carefully come back up and let's switch legs. Bring the left foot behind and make sure the left heel is lined up with the back arch, please. Spread your toes, lift your kneecaps, and engage your belly button just a little bit, belly button into the spine to protect your lower back and lengthen through your left arm and come on down. And for some of my clients, coming down to the ankle is a little difficult. So I have them come up a little bit right, right, right below the knee. So if coming down to the ankle creates too much strain in your body because you want to be on one plane, feel free to lift up. Very nice, Julia. And it's like you're in one plane, like between two planes of glass. Very nice. Gorgeous distance between your legs, Al. Very nice. And then slowly come on up, please. And then go ahead and bring your toes straight ahead, hands onto your waist. Let's do just a little bit of a back bend for energy. Go ahead and look back a little bit. Just opening up your heart. And then from here, come forward and come onto your fingertips, way in front of your feet. Look up. Stretch your heart forward. Spread your toes, please. Lift your inner ankles. Lift your inner ankles. Lift the kneecaps. Look up, please. Your heart moves away from your pelvis. Belly button into the spine and reach your right hand up for a little twist. Look up at your thumb and twist in your upper back, please. Lift the crown of the head away from the tail. So in all the twists, you have a beautiful long spine. Spread your toes, lift your kneecaps. Lift the crown away from your tailbone and the dristi is right at your thumb. Bring that hand down, please. Belly button in. Look up. Reach up. Create space between each individual vertebrae, please. And reach your left hand up. And look up. Do a little bit of a twist here. Really nice, making sure that your hips are even and taking the twist in your upper back. Go ahead and focus on your inhales and your exhales, lifting the crown away from your tail. So you have a beautiful long spine. Bring that hand down, please. Look straight ahead. Go ahead and bring your hands to your waist. And bring your right toes forward. Line up the heel to arch and come right into warrior two. And gaze at your fingertips, please. Ground your right foot, ground your left foot, back to basics. Um, standing poses are the foundation of yoga. Once you master the standing poses, everything else comes to fruition. Grounding your right foot, grounding your left foot, making sure that right knee is over the second and third toes, please. Very nice. Zip the pubic bone towards your belly button to protect your lower back. Lift your heart, please, and lift the crown of the head. Go ahead and focus on the inhales and the exhales. Another inhale and exhale.
exhale. Another inhale. And exhale. And just straighten your leg for triangle, please. And go ahead and look up at your left fingertips. Try to lengthen the spine even more. Lengthen the crown of the head away from the tailbone. As you ground your right foot and ground your left foot, please. Beautiful. Now just bring the left arm over your left ear for a nice yummy stretch. And sweep up to standing toes straight ahead, hands on your waist, and other side. Bring the left toes back and the heel is lined up with the back arch and bend into warrior two, please. Gazing at your left fingertips. Ground your left foot. Ground your right foot, please. Check your left knee to make sure it's over the second and third toes. Really nice. Zip the pubic bone towards the belly button. Belly button in towards the spine to protect the lower back. Lift your heart, please. Lift the crown. And as you extend your arms out, that creates a beautiful opening in your heart and your lungs. Long inhalations and long exhalations. As you ground your feet, lift through the crown. Sparkle those fingertips and continue to breathe. Really nice, Julia. Gorgeous, Al. And then go ahead and straighten your left leg for triangle. And reach up at your right hand. Look up at your thumb, long inhalations and long exhalations. Breathing deeply, long inhalations and long exhalations. And then just bringing your right arm over your right ear and sweep up, hands in to your waist, toes straight ahead. Let's go ahead and look up, do a little bit of a back bend here. And then keep your hands on your waist, drop your head down, clasp your hands please behind your tailbone and bring your hands up and over. And just do a little bit of a stretch here. Relaxing your head and your neck, spreading your toes, keeping the kneecaps really working, your kneecaps are firm. Focusing on your inhales and your exhales. Breathing into your shoulders, long inhalations and long exhalations. Really nice. And slowly and carefully bring your hands on the waist. Come on up. And for twisting triangle, I really like my feet to be a little narrower. So go ahead and bring your feet just a little closer together. Bring your right toes, please, towards the front of the mat. Open up your arms, please. And really... From here, we're going to go ahead and keep the arms really open wide. And then from here, actually, I'm going to give Julia a block to place her hand on the inside of her. If, you, if you're not familiar with triangle, I, I'd like you at home to use a block. And then from here, we're going to go ahead, and Al won't use a block, but we're going to go ahead and twist, 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 and bring the left hand onto the block or left hand on the outside of your right foot, if you can, and twist and look up. Yes and bring the outer right hip back. Really nice. And look up at your thumb. Long inhalations and long exhalations. And find cobra in your upper back. Really nice. Beautiful, very nice. And then go ahead and sweep up and switch feet, please. So go ahead and turn around to the other side. And first, keep your, keep your um, arms really open wide first. Belly button in, sparkle those toes. Very nice. And bringing that block on the inside of your left foot. And then from here, go ahead and keep the arms open, 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 and right hand on the outside of your left foot. And reach up and find cobra in your upper back. And look up. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Beautiful. Breathing deeply. Very nice, Julia. Really nice, Al. Gorgeous. Come on up. And toes straight ahead. Hands on your waist, please. And then from here, go ahead and open up your arms. And hands in prayer behind your back. And slide your hands. 
Now, if this is hard for you to bring your hands in prayer behind your back, if you have tight shoulders, feel free, please, to just grab your elbows. So Yogi's choice. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the easy, easy pose where you grab your elbows. Very nice, if you could crawl your hands even further up your back, hands in prayer. Bring your right toes, please, forward and square your hips. Bring your left hip forward and your right hip back. And then from here, let's go ahead and just do a little bit of a back bend here. Just look up to the heavens and bow down and slide down that right leg. Focusing on your breath, long inhalations, bringing your right hip a little bit further back. Really nice squaring the hips, long inhalations and long exhalations, sliding down that leg. We're just doing some beautiful basic yoga poses. And when you master the foundational yoga poses, everything else comes to fruition. Come on up. And from here, let's switch feet. Keep your hands behind your back and bring your left toes forward, square the hips, and then go ahead and look up. And then from here, slide down nose to knee or chin to shin. Honor yourself, long inhalations and long exhalations. Sliding that down that leg, focusing on your inhales and your exhales. Al and Julie are doing some really beautiful breathing. Always returning back to the breath. Really nice. And then slowly come on up and bring both toes forward, hands to your hips, and then step to the top of the mat, please. Hands in prayer. Go back to standing in mountain pose, grounding your right foot, grounding your left foot, belly button into the spine. Go ahead and reach your arms up, please look up, reach up, and then go ahead and exhale down, touching your toes. And then from here, just a flat back, look up. And then here, just bend your knees and left foot back. Reaching your heart forward, stay here. Ground your right foot, ground your left foot. Back to basics. I like the saying, halt. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. If you're in the combination of any of those, if you're ever hungry or angry or lonely or tired in any of those two combinations, take care of yourself. Take a nap, get some food, call a friend, go back to basics and take care of you. Ground your back heel, please, heel to heel, preparing for warrior one. Hands to your waist. Gra bend your right knee a little deeper, please. And then here, just reach your left arm forward. And then bring your arms up for warrior one. Reach up. Ground your right foot. Ground your left foot. And breathe. Belly button into the spine. Lift your heart. Spread those fingers. Back to basics. Go back to taking care of yourself first. Put the oxygen mask on yourself first. Otherwise, you can't help anybody else. So halt. If you're hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, take care of that first. And get on your yoga mat, of course. Hands in prayer. Come right to plank. Hold plank position, please. And then downward dog. Hold downward dog. And just bring the left foot forward, please. And stay there. Go ahead and stay grounded. In yoga, always pay attention to where your feet are. Ground your left foot. Ground your right toes. Stay where your feet are. Focus on yourself. Stay grounded, stay present. Always go back to the basics. Where are your feet? And then go back to your breath, your inhales and your exhales. Grounding your right heel, please. For warrior one, hands to your hips, please. Right arm forward. And then from here, reach up with your arms. Really nice, go back to your 
feet, ground your left foot, ground your right foot. Stay present. Stay right here, right now. Yoga is a moving meditation. Stay present right here, right now. Stay on your own yoga mat. Go back to basics and simplify your life. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Really nice hands in prayer. Go right back to plank. Hold plank position, please. Go back to where your hands are and where your toes are. Pay attention. Really nice. Then from here, slowly come into a chaturanga. Bend your elbows, belly button into your spine, and then come into an upward dog position. Roll onto the tops of your feet and look up. Upward dog. Downward dog. Beautiful. Let's go back into upward dog. You can stay on your toes or roll onto the tops of your feet. Upward dog and downward dog. Gaze at your belly button. That's the dristi. Upward dog. And downward dog. Really nice. Then from here, come right into a seated position. Legs out in front of you, please. Bring your hands by your sides. Iron your right leg and left leg into the earth. Lift the back ribs and the side ribs. Belly button in. Big toes touching. Spread your toes. Go ahead and look down at your heart. Take a big inhale. Hold. Exhale. Another inhale. Lift your heart to your chin. Hold. Exhale. Another inhale. Hold. Exhale. Beautiful. Reach your arms up. Look up at your thumbs. And exhale. Grab the outsides of your feet. Or if you need a belt at home, please feel free to grab a belt and go ahead and find the cobra in your forward bend. Look up and then exhale down. Focusing on your breath. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Going back to basics. Really nice. This calms down the mind. Forward bends are really wonderful to do in the evenings to calm down the mind and then slowly come on up and just bring your right leg over your left and hug your right knee please and again in all the twists you want to have a really tall spine iron your left leg into the earth and lift through the crown of the head and then bring your right hand behind your to towards your tailbone and twist over to the right and you can have your hands any way you'd like if you want to bring your left elbow on the outside of your right knee you can do that if that's too uh too contorting for your left shoulder, then you can go ahead and just hug your knee and twist. So would always listen to your own body. If something feels uncomfortable, please back up. Iron your left leg into the earth, root to rebound, lifting the crown of the head and twisting. It's really good for your digestive system, your liver, your kidneys and your spleen. And then slowly come out of that, please. And then straighten that right leg and then hug the left. And give that leg a big hug and lift through the crown of the head. Iron the right leg into the earth and lift through the crown of the head. And remember all the twists, you wanna have a really tall spine. Bring the left hand behind your tailbone, please, and twist. Look right back behind you and lift, really nice. And I like grounding that back hand behind my tailbone to lift my back ribs even more and twist a little deeper. Long inhalations and long exhalations. 
really good for your digestive system, really good for your liver, your kidneys, your spleen. Focusing on your breath, go back to your inhales and your exhales. And then go ahead and unravel, straighten your legs, reach up, look up, reach up, and exhale, come down. Focusing on your breath as you soften the space between the eyebrows, as you relax your temples and your jaw, returning back to your inhales and exhales. Come on up and butterfly, bringing the feet together. And you can choose to bring the feet close to your pelvis or away, yogi's choice. And then go ahead and grab your big toes and come forward and drop your forehead down long inhalations and long exhalations breathing into your hips breathing into your thighs and then slowly come on up and then straighten out your actually bend your knees and lie down with your knees bent lie down and then from here ground your feet into the earth and lift your buttocks and interlace your fingertips underneath your tailbone and roll your shoulders underneath your body. So even if someone was standing above you, they wouldn't see your shoulders because your shoulders are literally, your upper shoulders are literally underneath your body. And then ground those arms and lift your tailbone as you press your feet into the earth. And bring your chin to your heart and your heart to your chin as you ground your right foot and ground your left foot. The thighs are slightly internally rotated. The buttocks flesh is moving towards your knees to protect your lower back. And really feel that opening in your thoracic spine. Finding symmetry between your right foot and your left foot. Long inhalations. And long exhalations, focusing on your breath. And then slowly release the arms out from underneath your back. And then from here, take your right leg over your left and give your knees a big hug. And drop those knees over to the left as you gaze over to the right, please. Look over your right shoulder. Long inhalations. And long exhalations. So check yourself on a daily basis. Do you need more meditation? Do you need a better diet? Do you need more sleep? Do you need to spend more time with your friends? Do you need more time on your yoga mat? Unravel and go ahead and take the left leg over the right. Hug your knees into your chest, please. And bring the knees over to the right and gaze over the left shoulder. And twist the opposite way, please. Really nice breathing into that lower back. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Remember, are you getting enough sleep? Are you eating lots of fruits and vegetables? Are you hanging out with wonderful people? Remember, we are the common denominator of the top five people we hang out with. And as you guys know, I say always go where the love is. Hang out with loving, kind people. Unravel your legs, please. Hug your knees into your chest. Straighten out your legs for Shavasana. Arms way open away from your body. Create a lot of space. Close your eyes from top to bottom. Release your lower jaw from your upper jaw, please. And just simplify and drop down into Shavasana for these next few minutes, please. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. And I want to thank Al and Julia. Thank you so much. And remember, fitness is not just physical. It's mind and body. I'm Susan Foxley. You can learn more about my books, workshops, and life coaching at SusanFoxley.com or connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. See you next time. And one more thing, always, always, always go where the love is. Namaste.
Namaste.